One of the things that can happen when you're a team that's doing something highly innovative is that you can think that some of the problems that you're having um, are just yours alone. And what we find actually is when we bring the 23 teams together, there's this shared sense of, oh, it's happening to you too, isn't it? So a lot of kind of conversations can happen about the barriers that get in the way of doing innovation, um, some of the joy of doing innovation, and what people are learning through this journey. So today is a, a learning event for the Innovating for Improvement teams. There are 23 teams doing incredible work across the UK and we get the pleasure of uh, having each other's company so that we can learn from each other. I've enjoyed the networking, talking to teams from other places and I particularly enjoyed the, the um, talk from Camarado. I found that very fascinating. I'm certainly going to take that back to Wales. So my name is Matt Potts and I work for the Association of Camarados which supports the Camarados movement. Basically getting through tough times by looking out for each other and doing so in places called public living rooms where you can go when you're having a rough day. It encourages people to be a bit human. Um, there's something about the rest of the furniture in this conference space which says uh, don't get too comfortable, um, be a little bit serious, uh, bring your game face. Whereas there's something about a fluffy cushion and a chair which says um, it's alright to be a bit rubbish, relax, put your feet up, kick off your shoes, um, remember you're a human being. I think at this halfway point you're starting to think about what next and one of the main things that Rebus QI will provide in terms of support is helping our teams think about change and see that change occur in not just their, their setting but spreading it further into other settings where they can. But speaking to other teams that are also doing similar innovations and working in similar fields, it's nice for us to just look each other in the eye and get that nod of approval to say you're on track and that sounds amazing and actually it's nice to give it to other people as well. This morning has been really inspirational and really supportive for all of the teams. Really fresh and hearing lots of new ideas and lots of similarities between the projects although they're very different lots of things that we can learn from each other. The conversations between the, the different projects has been really useful. Just trying to be a bit more clever about how we do things, trying to listen to the staff and not assume, trying to figure out who we're not hearing from and how, how we can engage with them, just talking to the, those members of staff and, and listening to the responses that are coming from each survey. I feel Innovating for Improvement is a great programme and it's been a really successful programme over the years and for me it's an important programme because it gives power to people on the front line. It gives power to improvers who are there in the thick of it, who see things every day that they want to change and we're giving people time, money, support to pause and to say this is what I think should happen. I've learned a lot about person-centred care so it's not, I'm, a, I'm aware of it as a concept but by just jumping in and diving in I think I've really developed my own personal and professional understanding of it to the point where regardless of when this project finishes um, I want to apply that to my own roles and I have other roles as well that I want to bring this to. Well takeaway probably is to reflect more and more on the learning process we are going through. Many times I'm uh, doing research which is pretty much based on the outcomes and success. And what I like about the Health Foundation approach is that we can learn, we can appreciate process more, we can learn and reflect on our mistakes and uh, we need to be much more realistic.